Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to use a task on a different thread in a WPF application to update the UI. So for this, let's create one button. So this is our button. And uh, let's create one text block. Text block. Just to show some message. Okay. Let's give some name to our button. Button one. And let's give some name to our text. What is text one? Let's change the font size to 20. Similarly for this one as well, font size to 20. And with this, let's test it. Now what you can do is when you click on this button, we want to perform some operation. Now what we can do is create a task, right? And in this task, we can run, uh, we can do some operation, right? So um, let's uh, let's create a thread, okay? New thread. And in this thread, we can perform some operation, right? And uh, dot start, you can call a start. Cancel. So in this thread, what we can do is for i is equal to zero to i is less than five, i plus plus. And uh, we can say console right line, thread is plus your thread dot current thread dot managed thread UI ID. And we can also print a counter, right counter value. That's your I, and uh, yeah, basically make the thread slip for a while. One second, right now, uh, with this, uh, what you can see if you print a message here that uh, main thread with this ID thread dot current thread dot manage thread ID finished, right. And if you run this, you can see if I click here, main thread finished, right? And this is a thread number three. That is what is changing the counter. Now, if you try to say, change your text here, text one dot text, right? If you try to set it to counter some value here, and if you run it, It is going to give this exception that you cannot access it, right? It's a violation. Access, uh, uh, what, what does it say? That the calling thread cannot access this object because a different thread owns it. So basically you can't do this. So what you will have to do is you will have to create a dispatcher dot invoke, right? And in this invoke operation, you have to perform this operation, right? And when you say that, if you click this, then it will update, right? Yeah, that's how it, but now you can see main thread is finished already, right? So if you want to perform some operation here, it's not going to work. So what do we do in this case? We can use async await, right? So we can, uh, we can see, We'll see this in the next tutorial.